excited to get started with everything today. Um, in this first episode, I just kind of wanted to talk to everybody about what I wanted to do with this channel. So this channel is going to be a little different than um, other artwork channels that you might have seen. So in order to kind of, you know, explain to you in a way why this channel is much different than the other channels and other artist channels, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of background on what kind of drew me into drawing. So the thing that actually first brought me to artwork was while I was studying abroad, ran into a program that I'm sure a lot of you know what it is. It's called Blender. And I was using Blender to make 3D models of certain things. And I kind of got into it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I've had a passion since I was very young for video games. So I decided I wanted to try to make a video game. The thing that was holding me back was I did not have a good enough art background to, to make things that were very accurate, you know? I was making these figures and these people that had weird limbs. I couldn't do fingers and hands and their eyes were kind of goofy looking and I, I wasn't doing very well. So I got to the point where I decided I wanted to start drawing. And as I started drawing more and more, I fell in love with it and... I started also reading different mangas, and I read Full Metal Alchemist. It was the first manga I actually ever read. I was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan all my life, but when reading Full Metal Alchemist, I really, really decided, I was like, this is, this is something I want to do. So I decided, instead of going just the video game route, which hopefully I can do one day down the road, I decided I wanted to make a manga. And since then, I've written about 14 chapters, and I've done some character designs and things like that, and I'm still trying to improve. I've actually made a few pages. I'm not quite happy enough to try to, you know, pursue anything quite yet, but I'm hoping during the time I use this YouTube channel, I'll improve enough to, to pass my own test. To I'm definitely my harshest critic in a lot of respects. So hopefully I'll, I'm going to be really happy with my artwork. And I think that's a, another thing that this channel is supposed to do is to create people in a community that ends up being happy with their artwork. Um, again, it's not going to be perfect, but at the very least, you know, if you're happy with it and you don't mind putting it out there, regardless of what people say, if it's your best effort, then that's, that's what, you know, the end goal is. So on this channel, what I really wanted to do was I wanted to, to find like-minded people, people in the same position as me that have, you know, maybe other professions. Like for me, for instance, I'm a therapist. Um, so I work in, you know, with all these people all day long, and I come home and then I draw. I'm not sure how many other YouTubers have the same type of experience as me, but I was hoping that there's other people out there like me as well that are more willing to to try, you know, and to, to be on my channel and kind of create this community of like-minded people that would, you know, support one another, give, you know, reasonable feedback and not be cruel to one another because nobody's artwork is perfect. Uh, mine included, and even the YouTubers that we do watch, like Jazza, like all those people, Mark Crilly, they'll even say the same type of thing. You know, not every, I mean, not any artist, I should say, is perfect. So, um, during this video, I kind of wanted to just put up the drawing, me drawing the avatar for my YouTube channel, just so you have something to watch. I'm also very, very new to the digital artwork as well. I've um, I just got the Artisol uh, D16 maybe two months ago. My computer is just now starting to run in a way that I can <laughs> actually use it. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. And, you know, if you have any feedback or tips on my coloring methods and everything, please tell me. I'm more than willing to hear it. So also on this channel, I would like to do these practice exercises. Um, and I'm going to try to post a practice exercise at least once a week. Hopefully by this weekend, I'm going to try to catch up and record myself every day up to this weekend. And hopefully by that time, I'll be able to have enough videos where I can post every day, at least during the work week, and work on doing my audio for the videos during the weekend. If you um, have any suggestions for videos, please uh, just leave a, leave a comment um, down below and I will try to get to them. I'm pretty sure, especially just starting off, 
probably for the first year or so, who knows, but I should be able to get to every single one of the um, practice videos that you'd like to see, and if you have, like, for instance, certain things that you'd like to draw, just send pictures. Um, that's one thing that I definitely have learned is that using the, the references and stuff like that, I'll have to show uh, pictures of before and after for me just using a reference and not thinking that I am know what I'm drawing. Uh, hopefully, you know, you'll get that as well, but <clears throat> just send me the reference and I'll practice as much as I can. Um, also, I'm on this channel, I'm also going to show my failures too. Um, not that any piece of artwork's a failure, but I'm going to show the things that I had a lot of difficulties with and I'm going to try to be honest with everybody and showing, you know, if I practice one day and it's not necessarily the best thing I've, I've done, hopefully you can also see, you know, oh, like, this person's being vulnerable. I should be vulnerable too with my artwork. It's the only way you're going to learn. Um, I've, I've started to realize that I learn more from the mistakes that I make in my artwork rather than the uh, the triumphs I make. So hopefully, um, you know, if you're willing to do that and you're brave enough to be vulnerable, we can all grow together. Thank you so much for watching my video to the very end. The next videos, like I said before, will be much different than this, but if you did like this one, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really, really liked it, and you want to subscribe, please do that too, it'll help, you know, give me some feedback, and, you know, root me on. And until then, I'm Manga Mike, and I'm out.